Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Kabeca. I'm a triple board certified gynecologist and obstetrician and also known as the girlfriend doctor. I want to talk to you about what a hormone is. It is one of the most common questions that I often get and people are often afraid to ask it. But there's a lot of confusion about what a hormone is and how does it work in our body and what do we need to do about it? Well, there are many hormones in our body. Over hundreds, I mean over 200 hormones in our body and they each interact in different ways and have different functions throughout our physiology and our body. And there's a hormonal hierarchy that I want to share with you. And when I think of this hierarchy, I think about all our hormones, our thyroid hormone, estrogen, reproductive hormones like estrogen and progesterone, our sleep hormones like melatonin, our pro-hormones like vitamin D, which is a pro-hormone as the students at a university or a school. And each student, like each student that has its own unique path and its own unique giftings, each hormone does as well. Now, if you consider a student body and teachers of the university or the school, those are a higher level of hormones. And that includes adrenaline, insulin, and cortisol. If you can imagine that they are teachers at a university and they are maybe smoking weed or drinking alcohol before class or they don't even show up, there's chaos among those other hormones, isn't there? Or those other students. <laughs> so same is true with the hormones. When adrenaline, cortisol, and insulin are out of whack, then our, the rest of our hormones are out of whack too. So let me show you. In looking at our hormonal hierarchy, then the most important hormone in our body is oxytocin. This is our hormone of longevity. It's also the hormone of connection. And it's an alkalinizing hormone, a, um, a, you know, a restorative hormone, and a hormone of resilience. This hormone, oxytocin, is, is really the most powerful hormone of our body. And you may have heard of it when you, if you were in labor and were having your contractions and maybe your doctor said you're you, we need to speed this along so we gave you pitocin that is a, a pharmacologic form of oxytocin but oxytocin is there so when you're through that delivery you bond with this baby and you feel this amazing connection it's also the hormone of orgasm laughter and play so with orgasm you are connected to that mate and that's the design of oxytocin. Now, if you consider it as the dean of the university, it's making sure all the teachers or professors are doing their job, right? And showing up at least and do, you know, leading the, their students in a good way. The same is true with oxytocin. When oxytocin is balanced, all the other hormones work better together. And that's key. So think of the student body as all of these you know, hormones, again, very important, each with their unique roles, but governed somewhat by insulin, cortisol, and adrenaline, and then mastered by oxytocin. So the next couple videos, I'm gonna share with you more about what happens with our hormones as we age and what to do about it.